Hey guys, this is Don from Mesatech and today we will be doing the review of the TP-Link Archer C20 wireless uh, dual band router. So without further ado, let's get started. So let me start off with what's inside the box. Inside you get the router itself, some documentation, a power adapter and an ethernet cable. So moving on to the ports on the router, you have an ethernet foil for your cable connection and four ethernet ports for LAN connections, a USB port, uh, port for hard drives or printers and a Wi-Fi on slash reset button. On the front we get some LEDs which do not blink even when there is activity, that's a kind of a dumber. The great feature about uh, these is that they are blue in color which is a nice part and matches the overall color of the router. On the back you have these two antennas which are 5 decibel each and these two antennas will be responsible for the 2.4 GHz as well as the 5 GHz band simultaneously. Yes, the router supports both 2.4 as well as 5 GHz bands. Let's talk about the design of the router first. On the top you have this design which looks elegant but it's very prone to scratches and fingerprints so I suggest you to clean the router with a microfiber cloth only. The router is made up of plastic all around and does not provide any sort of grip while placed on the table as it doesn't have any rubber feet. So there's a ton of ventilation on the bottom to keep the router cool during heavy load. So moving on to the performance of the router, there are two bands as already mentioned. The 2.4 GHz band supports speed up to 300 megabytes per second and the 5 GHz band supports up to 433 which gives a total of 733 Mbps of speed. In my use I saw that the 5 GHz band has more speed when compared to 2.4 but in terms of range the 2.4 covers the entire house and the 5 GHz band barely reaches the next room. So this is the kind of trouble you get with a 5 GHz router. Moving on to the management of the router, you can download the TP-Link Theta app from the Google Play Store and uh, remotely manage your router. So you can see all the devices which are connected and even block devices. You can also change your Wi-Fi password and SSID from the app, it, app itself. So concluding this review, uh, is this router worth the money you spend? Yeah, it is. If you're planning to have a dual band router, this could be a great choice. I've got fast enough speeds as, a, as I have a fast internet connection about 60 Mbps. So this router is enough for a small to medium sized home. As I have a large house and this router is not sufficient to cover the entire range. So I use a range extender to cover the entire house. So if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like, give it a dislike. Please do subscribe to our channel. And uh, to buy this router, you can find the links which will be in the description below. So, yep. Yeah. So, this is done from Asatec. Have a good day. Bye bye. bye.